Hello, out of a minus b is equal to 11. Square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 11. To find the value of a and value of b. So first we let this equation 1 and this we let equation 2. Then from equation 1, which is a minus b is equal to 11. So from a minus b is equal to 11. So from a to have square root of a, this a is same as square root of a bracket square. Because this square root will cancel with square, so it will be a. Then minus b is same as square root of b bracket square. Because this square root will cancel with square, so it will be b. Then is equal to 11. Then in next step, from this part is in form of a perfect square. So to be this square root of a plus square root of b, then bracket times square root of a minus square root of b, bracket is equal to 11. Then in next step, from here square root of a plus square root of b is from equation 2, where square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 11. So we'll substitute here. 11 then times this bracket square root of a minus square root of b bracket is equal to 11 then in next step we divide by 11 in both sides so here 11 you can say by 1 by 1 so it will be 1 times this square root of a minus square root of b is equal to 11 divided by 11 is 1 so this we let it as equation 3. Then in next step, we take equation 2, we add by equation 3. Whereas equation 2 is square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 11. So from square root of a plus square root of b is equal to 11. Then we add equation 3 which is square root of a minus square root of b is equal to 1. So we'll solve this continuous equation by elimination method, whereas square root of a plus square root of a is 2 square root of a, then square root of b minus square root of b is 0. So this and this will cancel. Then is equal to 11 plus 1 is 12. Then in next step, we divide by 2 in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be square root of a is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then to find the value of a will square in both sides. So this square root will cancel with square, then it will be a is equal to 60 square is 36. So this is the value of a in this our problem. Now to find the value of b, from equation 1, which is a minus b is equal to 11. So from a minus b is equal to 11, we we'll substitute the value of a, which is 36, into here. So it will be 36 minus b is equal to 11. Then we take 11 to this side and negative b to this side. So it will be 36 minus 11 is equal to b then b is equal to this minus this is 25 therefore the value of a is 36 and value of b is 25 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye